Blessed is our God, always now and ever into the age of the age of Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Almost Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, who out of our sins, O Master. Pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit the our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of ages. Amen. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and God. How beloved are thy dwellings, O Lord of hosts, my soul long to be faithful for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. For the sparrow hath found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, and through ages of ages shall they praise thee. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He hath made a sense in his heart for the veil of weeping in the place which he hath appointed. Yea, for the Lord give will give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Sion. O word of hosts, hearken unto my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our defender, behold, and look upon the face of thine anointed one. For better is one day in thy courts than thousands elsewhere. I have chosen rather to be an outcast in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loveth mercy and truth. God will give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopeth in thee. Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thy name. Turn us back, O God, of our salvation, and turn away thy anger from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us into the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be God in Show us, O Lord, thy mercy and thy salvation do thou give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is his salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hearken unto me, for poor and needy am I. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopeth in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day long. Make by the soul of thy servant, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. For thou, O Lord, art good and gentle, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend unto the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction have I cried unto thee, for thou hast heard me. There is none like unto thee among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like unto thy works. All the nations whom thou hast made shall come and shall worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and workest wonders, thou alone art God. Guide me, O Lord, in thy way, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart rejoice that I may fear thy name. I will confess thee, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forever. For great is thy mercy upon me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost hates. O God, transgressors have risen up against me, and the assembly of the mighty hath sought after my soul, and they have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate and merciful, long suffering and plenteous of mercy and truth. Look upon me and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in me a sign of the good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast holding me and comforted me. Work in me a sign of the good and let them that hate me behold and be put to shame, for thou, O Lord, hast
has hope in me and comfort in me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou hast descended in the glory of Christ our God, having glad in thy disciples with the promise of the Holy Spirit, and they were assured by the blessing that thou art the Son of God, the Redeemer of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Like a radiant star, thou didst shine out of the night of error, and didst slay the crafty enemy, O Lucilian, together with Holy Paul and the four children, pray to Christ our God to save our souls. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. O thou, for our sake, was born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death by death. And as God didst reveal the resurrection, sustain not that which thou hast fashioned with thy hands, show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Except the Theotokos who gave thee birth, who interceded for us, and do thou our Savior, save the sparing people. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither disannul thou thy covenant. And cause not thy mercy to depart from us for Abraham's sake, thy beloved, and for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's thy holy one. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord. God of our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One. Visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou didst fulfill thy dispensation for our sake, uniting things on earth with the heavens, thou didst descend in glory of Christ our God, departing not hence, but remaining inseparable from us, and crying unto them that love thee. I am with you, and no one shall be against you. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. What a mercy, 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 what a mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteousness, mercy on sinners, who calls to all the salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guarded and guided by their array, and maintain for the unity of the faith and the knowledge of that unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave us birth to God, the Word, the very Theotokos, the who we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause thy face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering in the face of our transgressions, and who has brought us even unto this present hour, wherein thou didst hang upon the life giving tree and didst make a way into paradise for the wise thief, and by death didst destroy death. Be gracious unto us sinners and thine unworthy servants, for we have sinned and committed iniquity, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and behold the height of heaven. For we have abandoned the way of thy righteousness, and have walked in the desires of our hearts. But we beseech thy boundless goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake, for our days were consumed in vanity. Rescue us from the hands of the adversary, forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal mind, that 
putting aside the old man, we may be clad with the new and live for thee, our master and benefactor, and that thus, by following thy commandments, we may attain to rest everlasting, where it is the dwelling place of all and that rejoice. For thou art indeed the true joy and gladness of them that love thee, O Christ our God. And unto thee we send up glory with thine unoriginate Father, and thy most holy and good and life creating spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is our God, how is now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come let us worship God our King. O come let us worship the Prodam for Christ our King and God. O come let us worship the Prodam for Christ himself our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty as thou for all, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretchest out the heaven as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the winds, who maketh his angels, spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire, who establishes the earth in the sureness thereof, which shall not be turned back forever and ever. To the abyss, like a garment, is his mantle. Upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest the bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains where the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field, wild asses away to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of their offspring they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and green earth for the service of men. To bring forth the bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests. The house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hare. He hath made the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. But thou appointest the darkness in there with the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad. The young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in ends. But man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea. And there are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this dragon, and thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it, then they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages, the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble, who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. For that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, now appointest the darkness in there with the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our great Lord and 
Father, His Holiness, Patriarch for real, who our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Alarian, for sire of the Russian Church abroad, for the venerable priesthood that he acted in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our all venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, Archimedes, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the God to serve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for every city and country, and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For a seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life into Christ our God.
disciples upward with glory into the heavens. Wherefore, marveling at the wonder, the ranks below cry out to those above, Lift up the gates and as is his good pleasure, God who reigneth over all, will enter in when he had issued forth, having all gloriously wrought salvation for the world. My name is Lincoln, I patiently waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. As they beheld, he lifted up the choir of the disciples, said, O oh, Master, how is it that thou dost now abandon thy servants? And with the cross thou who holdest all things in thy hands, having forsaken all things, we have followed thee, our God, rejoicing in the hope that we would be with thee forever. Leave us not more than do our loving Savior, but as thou is promised and the Comforter and Savior of our souls. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel walk in the Lord, bestowing the most perfect blessing upon thy friends, O Master. Let thou didst mystically teach them Behold, O oh my friends, I go to the Father, but will send you another Comforter. Cast aside all grief, for I will not forsake the sheep I have gathered together. I will not forget those whom I have loved. Invested with the divine power from on high, go ye forth proclaiming the glad tidings of salvation to all the nations. In the sixth stone, for the Lord there is mercy, with there is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel out of all his iniquities. Thou art sure to be a God bearer, holy consecrated, the holy anointed of God, clad in the Holy Spirit. Ever entering with splendor into the holy of holies, illumined with godly radiance, partaking of the grace of the holy mysteries, as a true and a glorious heart, praying with fullness in behalf of our souls. We oh, praise the Lord, O ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. Thy life was illumined with the radiance of the fervent truth, and thou hast enlightened the faithful, and driven away the darkness of falsehood. For thou wast shown to be the bright sun of the truth. O our blessed and holy heart, Metrophonies, and now thou hast made thine abode, which shineth never waning light, having become a child of the day, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, well for honorably celebrating thy divine and luminous memory. We honor thee with love, O love, ever memorable one. He hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Thy mind made beautiful by faith, and through yearning for God, O divine wise one, thou art shown to be radiant, and having learned in corruption, in thy mortal and corruptible body, O wise one, thou didst acquire the splendors of the incorporeal ones, becoming a stranger to pleasures, adorned with this fashion. O wise father and high metropolis, Thy radiant lamp and intercessor for those who honor thy memory with love. Lay both down the 
same tone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is gone up into the nation, Lord, at the sound of the trumpet, to uplift the fallen image of Adam, and to send the Spirit Comforter, to sanctify our souls. O joyous light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ, Having come to the setting of the sun, having beheld the evening light, we praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God. Meet it is for thee at all times to be hymned with reverent voices, O Son of God, giver of life. Wherefore the world doth glorify thee. Let us ascend, peace be unto all. Wisdom, the Perkimenon, in the fifth stone. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do good thou come. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear unto the words of my mouth. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength, do good thou And in thy strength do let out <clears throat> God save, O Lord, and keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the work of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due his song, to thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Let the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Let this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Let this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask of the Lord. Let this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. A Christian living to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. This, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most Bless the glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For good God art thou, the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To to the most glorified be the dominion of thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever unto the age of salvation. Amen. I will not be with those whom I have gathered together the Lord said to his friends but I shall
us and you the Holy Spirit. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout unto God with a voice of rejoicing. The angels cry out to the all-wise apostles, ye men of Galilee. You will come again in the same way as ye see. God is going up in jubilation. The Lord with the voice of the trumpet. Thy disciples went down from the Mount of Olives with joy, O word, glorifying and hymning thy divine ascension. Glory both now and the first tone. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have we not sent me to the heavens from whence thou hast descended? Leave us now, go up and go, Lord. May thy spirit come bearing peace for the world. Show forth unto the children of men the works of thy power. O Lord, who love is and kind. Now let us now thy servant depart in peace, O Master, according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared for the face of all peoples, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and more to have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and more to have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and more to have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, blot out our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the age of salvation. Amen. The truth of things revealed be to thy flock as a rule of faith. And I call the meekness and the teacher of Wherefore thou hast achieved the highest through humility and riches through poverty. O Father and Father of Metropolis, intercede with Christ God that our soul be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou hast ascended in glory, O Christ our God, and gladdened thy disciples with the promise of the Holy Spirit. And they were assured by the blessing that thou art the Son of God and Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray in thee, hearken and have mercy in Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our great Lord and Father, his holiness, patriarch, for ill. For our Lord, the very most reverend, much fault and alluring, for Sire, for the Russian Church abroad, and all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And again, we pray for our old venerable Father, the abbot of this holy monastery, our commander, Seraphim, and all his brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And again, we pray for this land, its authorities, and our forces. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And again, we pray for the God preserve Russian land and its Orthodox people, both in the homeland and in the diaspora, and for their salvation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery, and for all our fathers and brethren gone to their rest before us. And the Orthodox here and everywhere laid to rest. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray 
pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the brethren of this holy monastery. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed against thee, O Master. And if we have not acquired repentance, instead of repentance, accept our offering. I, having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from the coronavirus. Running in pain, we pray thee quickly, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let thou look down with a merciful eye upon the people of the Ukrainian land and make it unconquerable by those who work strife. We pray thee, O kind hearted Lord, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray to our Lord and Savior that he might preserve the Orthodox Church throughout the world in unity and piety and grant unto her peace and tranquility, love and accord. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that he will bless the building of our new church and that its foundation may be laid successfully to the glory of his name and that it may be continued speedily without hindrance unto its completion by the power, operation, and grace of the Most Holy Spirit. Let us all say, O Lord, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for them that bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all-venerable temple, for them that minister and them that chant, and for all the people here present, who await to be graced in abundance mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For our merciful God art thou, the lover of mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Amen. he that is, is blessed, Christ our God, always now and ever and unto the age of salvation. Amen. Establish, O God, the holy Orthodox faith of Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. O most holy Saint, O God, save us. O honorable and the cherubim, and the uncomparable glorious son of Satan, who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Zeus of God's Spirit, who we magnify. Glory to thee, O Christ, God our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. May Christ our true God, who in glory did ascend from us into heaven and sit at the right hand of God the Father, through the intercessions of his most pure mother of the holy and glorious all praised apostles, of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mir and Lycia, of the holy great martyr and healer Pontalamon, of our Father among the saints, Mishraphanes, first patriarch of Constantinople, of Saints Martha and Mary, the sisters of Saint Lazarus, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. Our great Lord and Father, good and most holy patriarch of Moscow and our Russia, our Lord, the very most reverend in our metropolitan New York, First time of the resurrection church of God, the all-venerable abbot of this holy monastery, our commandments in Athen, the brethren of this holy monastery, and all Orthodox Christians, preserve, O Lord, for many. 